Hi, I wanted to do a quick video of the echium plant before I cut it down. Um, the reason I'm cutting it down is because it's self-seeded bang in the middle of my vegetable patch and I need to transport all the peas and beans into the veg patch and I can't because it's taking up so much room. It's a monster and it's also growing into my um, angelica. I love the echium. I've planted them purposely in my garden for years hence why they're self-seeding. They're such an easy plant to grow. Um, they're native to the Canary Islands, but they really are. They thrive mostly, I would say, in like coastal areas. This is why they do so well in Cornwall, as well as the fact we've got really mild temperatures. Um, they survive in any pH soil, whether it's alkaline, neutral, acid, and they're generally disease free. They're fantastic for the pollinators. As you can see, the bees are loving life because of just the sheer number of flowers. Now, it's half flowered, but you can see there's hundreds of buds yet still to open. And I need to get rid of this before these flowers set seed because they will take over my garden. They're so pretty. I didn't know which color this one was gonna be because obviously I didn't plant it myself. But this is a, um, a variety with pink, like lavender sort of flowers. You can see they've all, they've all opened on the, like the south side of the plant, which I can't even see but from my side of the garden, which is a shame. Given time, the whole flower spike will burst into flower. They're enormous. They can grow up to four meters high. I reckon this one's about six, seven foot. So they do need a bit of room. Although they don't care, they will self-seed and just grow anywhere. They can be either um, depending on where you live, they can be a biennial or a short-lived perennial. It's, as you can see, it's like a rosette forming plant and it has like silvery hairs all over the leaves. But they're growing mainly for this amazing flower spike, which in this case is, is bent to go towards the sun. So unfortunately I will be cutting this one down, but I think I'll collect some seed before I do. So there you go, echium. Really easy to grow, unless you live in a cold area, obviously. This is gonna be an absolute mission to get rid of. I think the root system goes down quite deep. I'm gonna to have to cut it down as if I'm taking down a tree and then try and dig out the roots. Great for pollinators pest and disease free, easy to grow. Love the echium. You find a lot of these in um, the Cornish gardens like Treba, Glendurgan. They're pretty much the show of the garden and you can see why. There you go. Say goodbye to my again. <laughs> Bye.